Friday lunchtime and it is an absolutely beautiful day outside, like so good that I've got to go out. How lovely does that look? It's so blue, it looks so warm, but it's going to be freezing outside. But I don't really care, I'm all wrapped up nice and warm. I'm going to go and meet Jen. She wanted me to take her some teas in, these things, and I would love to. But it's going to be that cold that I don't fancy carrying them. My hand's going to get freezing and I don't know where my gloves are. So she's going to have to put them in a bag and take them to work on Monday instead. Plus, if you leave them here and they're good, we can have them over the weekend. Anyway, right, time to go meet Jen. Probably go to Subway. We did that last week. But Subway is super good. It's kind of healthy. It feels healthy, even if it's not. And, um, I don't know, it's not too expensive either. Either that or we'll grab a cup of coffee. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But I've got to go now, otherwise I'm going to be late meeting her. I have 10 minutes to get there, that's when she finishes for lunch. <laughs> it is so bloody nice. So green, so blue, so beautiful. Subway packed. Nero packed. We have to go to Starbucks, and usually Starbucks is full. It's usually full of prams every time I've ever been in because it's so easy to access and there's quite a lot of space. It just seems to draw in the parents with the prams, but today it was really empty. Nero was heaving. There's a lot of old people in there and nowhere to sit. Um, and we didn't want to, well, I didn't fancy standing in the queue in Subway because uh, standing in that to find out there's nowhere to sit as well because it's quite small would have been a bit of a bitch. So we stumbled across Starbucks that was pretty empty. I had an awesome bacon butty. It was pretty good. And Jen had some sort of like festive Christmas thingy. But because it's Christmas time, or well, getting close to Christmas time, Christmas blend is available at Starbucks and I love Christmas blend. Oh, it's so good. But they charge you an extra 20 pence though. Damn Christmas tax. We're gonna treat ourselves to Thai. We've got 15 minutes. I don't know if we can get there in 15 minutes. We better run then. Come on, I want Thai. Thai, 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 Thai. We are rushing off to go and collect our Thai now because it is going to be ready in like 15 minutes. And that's not very much time for us to get there. Should we be worried? Bump. <laughs> that was a really big bump. <laughs> Again, right. Should we be worried that on a Friday night it's going to be ready in 15 minutes? It's our favourite place. It's really good. It's a little bit... Ex <laughs> These are really big bumps, Chris. You should be more careful. Try it, but I want to get the food. <laughs> yeah, hurry up. But not too fast over the bumps. It's like our favourite takeout, but it's quite expensive for takeout because it's a proper restaurant. The food is amazing. Usually it's really, really fresh. I think we now have about five minutes left to go and pick it up. Chris, it's going to be ready. We need to hurry up. It's going to be cold. We park yet. It's going to be cold. Oh. No KFC today. This food smells absolutely amazing. We were trapped in the car and every once in a while when you go around like a bend or something, you just get this whiff of, well it sounded like, it smelled like seafood or something, but it's so tasty. I cannot wait. And I don't think Jen's gonna get a look in. And, and we got special Thai prawn crackers, which are amazing. Thai prawn crackers? Way better than Chinese prawn crackers. It's oh, cold quick. Look at that for takeout. It's got like actual mussels in it. It is amazing. And stir fry veg too! Oh, it's so colourful. And dinner is served. That has to be the best looking takeout that ever existed. It's American Horror tonight and it is the last episode or two. I'm not 100% certain. So I'm going to head for a bath and I'm going to hand you over to this one. I love my mouth full. Stop eating I'm prawn crackers. I'm going to hand you over to her. She better keep you entertained. If she doesn't, there's no American Horror for you tonight. Pardon? So if you don't keep them entertained, there's no American Horror for you tonight. What? Yeah. You better keep them entertained then, Ben ya. Ben ya. Ben ya. Okay. Dinner was amazing. It tasted just as good as it smelled. It was so, so good. I think the only reason it was so fast was because it was only six o'clock. When we arrived at the restaurant, there's like, it, there's so many tables in there. They're really packed in. And there was only one person, that, like one table that was occupied. Absolutely worth spending, like, four pounds more in takeout than we normally do. Oh, so good. <laughs> Finished off our prawn crackers, which were equally good, and I completely forgot about until afterwards. Are your toys in the wash? Oh no. Chef has got a couple of like soft toy toys, and they live outside half the time. They've got dog spit all over them. They really stink. They are awful. So this evening they're in the washing machine, and he is not happy about it because He's now digging his way under the sofa. 
he's really not happy about it. He's been sitting there next to the washing machine, kind of watching them go round and round. <laughs> They'll be done soon, and then he can have them back. What are you looking for? Is there a toy? Ah, oh, there is. I can't reach that. That is much too far away. Really? You really want it? Okay. Hang on. I got it. Da I saved him. I found the toy. He's not normally allowed balls in a house, but we gave it to him just after. Did we give it to him? We gave it to him just before bonfire night, just as something new that was completely different that he doesn't normally get. And it was a really good distraction for him when the fireworks were going off. But it does spend half its time under a sofa. And it's a little bit frustrating because he plays with it for like two minutes. He gets really excited and then it bounces off somewhere. And then someone has to fish it back out from under the sofa. I feel like I'm completely behind with TV this week. But everybody, everybody at work has been talking about a new show called Planet Earth that's been on BBC, I think. Yeah. It's been on BBC. I think it started about two weeks ago. And I haven't seen any of it. I loved series one of Planet Earth. It was the first show that we had on Blu-ray. Chris and I used to watch it like religiously on Blu-ray, we'd missed it on TV. It was so beautiful, like, the images were so lovely. I suppose because it was our first HD type show, it looked, made it look particularly good, but it was a great film. Great like program series. And series two has just started. I've been told it's amazing. Something about a snake in the first episode? Leave your comments down below if you've seen it and what your favorite bit is. And I'm gonna go and give it a shot now while Chris is in the bath. He's gonna be so sorry he missed this. What are you doing? Yay for David Attenborough! On a side note, if you want to see David Attenborough's child at home, check out our vlog from a couple of months ago when I went to go and see the University of Leicester campus. Because we, on that tour, we got to see their actual home and we got to see graffiti where they'd written their names on the wall outside. I signed up for Bounty earlier on, probably a couple of weeks ago. So if you're from the US, you're probably not aware of it. Um, if you're in the UK, you may not be aware of it. But Bounty provide um, packs of useful information. They do vouchers and they do like product size samples, sample size products. Oh, if you can get your words in the right order. Um, for um, new mothers or expecting mothers and well, they do loads of baby stuff basically. And they have sent me my first letter, which is life insurance. Now I am not gonna buy life insurance because somebody sent me a letter through the post. But it does remind me that it's something that we need to look into. I can add it to the list of stuff that needs to be done. So I've seen the bit with the snakes. Where the snakes eat the just hatched iguana babies. Not my favourite bit, I've got to say. Definitely not my favourite bit. So far, my favourite bit has been when the male sloth went swimming across the seas after the female cry. That was so cute. <laughs> so far, Sheppy and I are loving planet Earth. Aren't we, Shep? Yeah, he really likes the birds. <laughs> the first bit that's made some really interesting noises for him. And I have a new favorite bit of the show. It has got to be the albatross. Oh, if you haven't seen planet Earth, you need to go and watch it. It's available for download. It's on catch up on BBC iPlayer at the moment. And then you get, oh, there it is. When you download it, if you can't bother watching the rest of it, skip forward to about 30 minutes in and watch the bit about the albatross. He, get off. He's so cute. Albatrosses are away from each other for six months out of the year. And then they go and meet on this island off the coast of New Zealand. And because they haven't been, the male and female haven't been together, but they still wait for the same, same bird to come back year after year. The, Poor male bird is sat there waiting for his female to arrive and <sighs> I'm not going to ruin it for you. Go and watch it. 30 minutes in, you don't need to watch the rest. Just watch the albatross. Shep's just having his dinner but when he is done he is going to be so excited because I have just heard the washing machine finish. Normally, not a big deal. Today it's full of toys. Leave. Good boy. We're gonna wait for them to dry. They have to stay there. 
of all the species that have become extinct in recent years, around 80% have been islanders. You gotta wait, mate. You got to wait till they're dry. I've just emptied the rest of the washing machine and I found this. It appears as if one of the toys may have had a little accident. I'm sure he'll love them just the same. At least now they smell better. You can't have them, I already told you. Still not having them. Take it. 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 As it is American Horror Night tonight, and that means I have to be up really, really late. Next job for me is to go and have a quick nap, just just a little one, little little ditty nap, and then I can stay up late enough to watch American Horror. I had a great nap earlier, and it was just enough. It meant that I got all the way through American Horror without getting sleepy, which was awesome. The show was fantastic. Tonight was the penultimate episode. It was super scary. I have no idea how they're going to finish it next week, how they're going to top tonight's. But then I didn't know how tonight's topped last week's. Oh, it's so good. It's time for me to go to bed. And I really don't want to go to bed because I had really bad dreams last week. <laughs> so chicken! Now, I know. Who's a chicken? <laughs> Now I'm gonna have to watch like Family Guy or something just to like lighten the mood before I go to sleep. Chris on the other hand is not allowed to go to bed yet because we have a super busy day today because we have a super busy day tomorrow and he's gonna to edit today's vlog now like before bedtime. Otherwise not. <laughs> gonna say goodnight so that Chris can do it because if I don't go then he can't do his stuff. Don't have American Horror Story dreams. See you tomorrow. That bit. That is the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face.